Cinema 4D Release 13 includes enhanced navigation, an all-new physical render engine, and powerful new character animation tools. Of course, there's also an amazing number of smaller workflow tweaks designed to help you work faster and smarter. This and the subsequent videos will help acquaint you with all of the changes in Cinema 4D Release 13. One of the first changes you'll notice is a new icon and product logo for Cinema 4D. But unlike prior releases, you won't be staring at folders full of files with this icon because project files now include a preview image that is displayed within Windows Explorer and the Mac OS Finder. This preview image makes it much easier to distinguish between project files and open the one you want. The preview image is generated automatically when you save a file in R13, or you can manually define the preview by pasting an image from the clipboard or loading a file. Existing users will notice a few tweaks to the default layout of Cinema 4D, as well as some updated icons for the component modes and rendering commands. The layout switch has been moved from its old location on the left palette to a more obvious drop-down in the upper right of the interface. Cinema 4D now supports vertical tabs, and several managers are now docked by default using the vertical tabs on the right side. Within the main menu bar, the new Mesh menu combines the commands previously located in the Structure and Functions menus and organizes those tools and commands into submenus by type. In the View Panel menus, many commands have been moved from the Display menu to a new Options menu, and it's much easier to locate the display type or options you wish to modify within these shorter menus. Perhaps the most sweeping change to Release 13 is the new Sticky Shortcut system. Sticky Keys allows you to press and hold a shortcut, perform an action with the related tool, and release the shortcut to immediately return to the previous tool. To quickly rotate an object, simply hold down R and perform the rotation. Then release and you'll return immediately to the Move tool. To perform an extrusion, hold down D, drag to extrude, then release to return to the previous tool. Of course, you can continue to use shortcuts as you always have. Simply tap and release to switch commands completely. Several GUI elements within the Attribute Manager have been updated and provide dramatically faster workflow. You can now choose fonts directly within Cinema 4D's interface, rather than opening a separate window. The drop-down displays previews of each font, and you can easily cycle between fonts using the arrow keys. There's also an all-new GUI for spline data, that allows you to view the curve in greater detail by zooming, panning, or even opening the curve in a separate window. Splines can be edited in much the same way as an F-curve, with options to use Bezier, Cubic, or Linear Interpolation for each point. There's a number of options in the context menu that make it easy to manipulate points and tangents or apply preset spline shapes. The Datetime GUI has been redesigned so that it uses less space and is more graphically appealing. You can easily click between months, hours, and minutes with arrow keys, or simply click a day and drag over the clock to choose a time. The Protection tag now offers much more extensive control, allowing you to lock or limit individual position, scale, and rotation axes. The locked axes are dimmed on the object axis to indicate their status. The object axis has a number of additional enhancements, including new axis bands and a gimbling rotation display that shows the effect of choosing different rotation orders. All of these enhancements are covered in more detail within the R13 Modeling Enhancements video. Be sure to watch all of the Release 13 intro videos on Cineversity for a complete overview of all the enhancements in this release. Even if you don't think you have any interest in a particular area, you might be surprised by how useful a new feature can be in a different context. Regardless of your industry or interests, the new features and enhancements in Release 13 will dramatically change the speed of your workflow and the quality of the results.